My name is Dave Roth, and I'm interviewing a very special guest this evening, our Lord and Savior, Mr. Jesus Christ. Jesus, <laughs> I mean, Mr. Christ, welcome, welcome. Dude, likewise. We're told you have a message for all of mankind. Bro, I just want people to know, okay? I want people to know. I got this job because of my talents, okay? Oh, absolutely. I would have had this job anyway, even if my dad wasn't God. I know you agree with oh, that. I couldn't possibly agree further. I'm on every church wall, and I would be on that church wall even if my dad wasn't God. Here, here. And do you have a message for a world in turmoil? But of course. I'm speaking to people of the entire world. I want to speak to Russia and the Ukraine. I want to speak to the Palestinians and the Israels. I want to speak to the Sudan and everybody who's mixing it up. You got to think as a team or I'm going to keep fucking the climate up. I want to see some teamwork. And there is no I or me in team. But there's a you in pussies. So don't be a bunch of pussies. Amen to that. By the way, Hagar ever get that popsicle out of his butt? No, I don't believe he has. Those alien invaders. They just can't stay put. Up, up, and away! Roth Show. This fucking kid, he's complaining the entire tour like I'm not paying enough attention to him on stage. Like Santa Claus coming down the chimney and popping out on Christmas as nobody paying attention. Shalom to the dome, homie. I'm giving him the best. Everything I've got in front of 20, 30,000 people at a clip. And he's complaining to everybody around me. The business manager, the security guy, the clothing lady. Dave's not paying enough attention to me. Cut to New York City. Glamorous, glistening, shimmering New York City and we're at Jones Beach with 20,000 of my closest friends. I walk out into the middle of the stage and I'm going to do Ice Cream Man. And I'm testifying to the brothers, Eddie and Al, man, this is how many times we played New York. This is spectacular. And what I don't know is this kid, this Schlemiel kid, has commandeered a couple of monkeys to go in back, behind my back, over to the side of the stage, and throw out these two great dames that I invited to be my guests to the show. And these dames are in their 40s, okay? Business women. In fact, you aren't gonna believe this shit. Roth Show. This fucking kid, what he doesn't know is that these two dames work for the accounting firm that represent him, not me. But as usual, he, just like his uncle and his uncle's brother, stiffed them for tickets. I know they're going to do that, so I got ahead of things and I give them tickets. I put them way off to the side, and I'm not talking about Molly Crew groupies here. This is the real deal, and they're both carrying big satchel purses, right? Like Gucci, here we go. And he throws them out of the building. He's teaching me a lesson. What this fucking kid doesn't know. They're carrying the paychecks for all 82 people on the road crew. Nobody tells me till I'm parked in the middle of that fucking bridge that leads from 100 Wantai Avenue. You know fucking Jones Beach. They think I'm going to freak out. I laughed so hard I spilled my Snapple. Roth Show. Cut to Hollywood. That's gooey bally hooey Hollywood. We're playing the Hollywood Bowl. It's the last two shows of the tour, and Ed's not having a good day this year. So I know, hey, maybe I always got to play it like, what if this was the last show I ever have with the brothers? This is important to me. We're celebrating 50th anniversary here from when we first started arguing over which song is first. Stay focused. The brothers are playing. I walk out on stage at the Hollywood Bowl. This is the very last show that we're playing. And I start getting tears in my eyes because I testify to Ed. And I testify to Al that... Hey, we started right down the street at a little nightclub called Gazzari's. We were playing dance tunes. And our parents didn't give us shit. We made every penny go right into the gas tank or onto the guitar strings fretboard. And okay, here we go. We're at the Hollywood Bowl. I'm about to launch into Ice Cream Man, and this fucking kid. He commandeers two muscle monkeys, locates the one dame that is my guest. She's off in the wings of the Hollywood Bowl. They find her, make her do the walk of shame past all the other guests and out into the parking lot, and throw her out of the building. Wolfie Van Halen's gonna teach me a lesson by throwing out what he thinks is my girlfriend. But guess what? 
Not only is this an accountant again, and not only is she carrying the paychecks for 82 of us on the road crew, but she's carrying cash bonuses for everybody there. You may want to pull over on this next one. You're going to pee your pants. Remember New York City? It's the same fucking lady. This fucking kid. This fucking kid! And that's how I remember my last show with Eddie Van Halen.